Hey everyone, I am Samir Kalwarkar and welcome to Agarka Media Academy. So this is the sixth tutorial in Blender tutorial series. I know it's been a long while. Uh, I think last month I posted the last video which was the fifth tutorial in Blender tutorial series. Uh, a lot has changed since then. So before moving ahead with the tutorial, let's just have a recap of what we have done till now. I'll just show you my uh, channel. This is the Agaka Media Academy YouTube channel which you are watching right now. So please do subscribe. Uh, the community is growing. I know it's just 9 subscribers right now. But the community is growing and I hope the community grows. Uh, I need your help. Uh, please do subscribe if you want to learn anything about Blender or uh, coding or web designing and web development and stuff like that. So okay. If we go to the playlist section. Here we have Blender. Uh, 3d animation tutorials playlist for beginners so here you can see i just i'll just pause the video we don't want to hear that uh, so basically we started with blender 2.80 version this was about it and then we move ahead moved ahead with blender 2.81 version so in the first video this is the first video though it says second but this is the first tutorial uh, we saw how what is blender 3d what is the software all about and then we saw how to download it and set it up on your computer or laptop. Then we saw the navigation in 3D viewport or in the blender. Then we added and deleted objects, mesh objects inside of blender. Then we saw the transformation of objects moving, rotating, scaling and stuff like that. And then we saw how to save files in blender. So this is what we have covered till now and what new has been uh, happening in the blender's version is that the blender 2.82 version is here so basically there are a few changes a few additions in blender but nothing substantial which needs to be changed all these videos all these six videos are still valid uh, nothing has been changed in these videos there is no need to change the videos there is no need to be uh, added or subtracted from these videos all the uh, things that we have learned till now is still valid. There are uh, some high level advanced level functionalities that have been added in Blender 2.81 but that is not what we are going to cover just as of now. So just to be updated um, if you go to the blender.org uh, website the Blender 2.82 is here you can just hit the download button and download the uh, setup and install the setup right. So this is what I have done. So the splash screen has changed. Uh, there has been many uh, changes in the uh, 2D graphics uh, things in uh, inside of Blender. So that's why there is this 2D graphics splash screen. Here you can see it says version V2.82, right? So this is what we are at. So you can see the cons the uh, the UI is still the same. There has nothing been a substantial change in the UI. So it's the same. Now in this video, we are going to uh, learn how to edit objects. So let's just first recap. We saw how to delete the object X to delete or just select the object and press delete. Right? Both the methods are equally good. X just gives us the confirmation message delete. Right? Now when we add objects from here or shift A and add object, where is add object? Uh, let's say we add a cube, right? So when we have added a cube, now let's say we want to just change some things about this cube. Let's say we want to, uh, uh, so this has 8 vertices. Let's say we want the, the top face to be smaller than the bottom face, right? So there is no way to do it. We saw scaling uh, which is from here or s as a short shortcut but we see that the scaling works uh, equally on all the sides yes we can lock the scaling in x y and z direction by tapping the x y and z uh, key presses respectively but that is not what we want we just want the top face to be smaller than the bottom face so this is not possible in object mode this is where we need to change the mode. Here you can see object mode. Uh, so if we just clicked it, 
you can see all different modes which are available object mode edit mode sculpt mode vertex paint weight paint and texture paint we'll be looking at all of these uh, as and when uh, we look at those things right now we are just going to focus on edit mode so as soon as we are on edit mode uh, a slight difference has been made to the viewport the toolbar here has changed there are many other options uh, the options have been changed the viewport also the object also has changed now you can see this orange vertices and the lines the edges and the faces right so you can right now just select one vertex one vertex if you just click at one vertex it will be selected if you uh, if you click anywhere outside the object everything will be deselected now let's see i uh, select this edge i select this vertex and we are just going to move it moving can be done from here move or g is the uh, shortcut right g for grab and as you can see here i can now move the single vertex right the same goes on with rotation but rotating one vertex is you know unnecessary and there it makes no sense even if we rotate one uh, vertex it is just vertex uh, there is no point of rotating it but if we select two vertices let's say this and this so you can see this edge has been highlighted in orange color now if we say rotate then you can see it's rotating right of course we can again lock the direction in x y and z axis right the same uh, grab scale and rotate works now if i just select this one let's just control z uh, if i just select this one and we scale it up now again scaling one vertex is useless if you select two vertices and then scale then you can see the scaling happens right so this is all about uh, edit mode so here we have different three different modes of selecting the object or selecting the parts of objects right now we are in vertex mode vertex select mode so here we can select the vertices one by one here we have the edge select mode where edges can be selected right now now as soon as we hit the edge select mode you can see now there is no vertices that can be seen there is no vertices vertices that can be selected now the edge itself can be selected now you can see the whole edge has been highlighted right so we can of course select multiple edges we can just uh, box select everything or we can just press a to select all right then the same goes for face select mode now as soon as i click the face select mode i can now select the complete face here you can see there is no edge selection or vertex selection i can select the complete face right there are lot many things about edge uh, edit mode that we'll be covering in the next uh, few tutorials uh, so right now we just want to do is we just wanted the top face to be smaller than the bottom face so either i can go into the edit mode uh, in the vertex select mode i can select the first top four face uh, top four uh, vertices and then scale them down s and like this or what i can do is i can select the edges one Two, three, four, right, and then scale it down. Or the easiest method is because I know that I want to scale the face itself. I will go to the face select mode, such that only the one click can uh, get me selected the complete face, and then scale it down as much as I want, right? So this is it. This is what we wanted to do in this tutorial. Now uh, I am again in the object mode, and here you can see the top face is smaller than the bottom face it is a a, a, a pyramid like structure i think i am not very sure a pyramid has a, a complete edge I, I think this is fulcrum i am not very sure yes this is fulcrum or whatever the shape may be but we don't want to lo look at that right now so this is how we did uh, we just saw how edit mode is helpful now just one last thing for this uh, tutorial for this video there is a handy way of there is a shortcut or handy way of 
selecting between edit mode and object mode and that is tab so on your keyboard you can just uh, press tab so tab gives me edit mode tab gives me object mode tab edit mode tab object mode so unnecessarily you don't need to move your mouse here and select edit mode and then object mode from here you can just wherever you are you can just uh, in this viewport you can just click tab and it just changes from edit mode to object mode and object mode to edit mode so this is all about it uh, thank you so much for watching this video and if you haven't yet subscribed to this youtube channel please do subscribe uh, there will be a lot more uh, detailed videos about 3d blender tutorial series we'll be covering blender in very detail so that you can use blender to create assets and um, you know other 3d stuffs for your games and animations and stuff like that so stay tuned uh, to this channel uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel please do subscribe uh, this is the youtube channel you just need to do all you need to do is search for Agarka Media Academy or if you are watching this video you just need to press on the uh, subscribe button and that's it I think this is it for this video I hope you learned something new in this video and see you in the next video till then keep smiling and keep learning